Forestry research at the LSU Ag Center's Calhoun Research Station spans the life of a tree, from seedlings to decommissioned wood waste, such as old utility poles. Dr. Michael Blazier is looking to forest for biofuel. Two percent of U.S. electricity comes from wood, but Blazier sees a greater potential. You can produce a high amount of biomass per acre with, with fairly little inputs there in terms of water, nutrition, and, and vegetation control. This gives forest an advantage over other ethanol feedstocks such as food crops like corn. Another advantage is that forests can help the environment by taking carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Blazier's research is focusing on small diameter trees and fast growing trees such as cottonwood and eucalyptus. These types of trees we could grow to uh, heights of around 70 feet or so uh, in less than 10 years there. It's a really impressive growth. Dr. Hui Pan's research comes in when a wood product has served its purpose. She is working to keep chemically treated wood out of landfills. Using a technique that liquefies wood, she can separate preservative chemicals such as chromated copper arsenate or CCA from wood. During the liquefaction, CCA, the heavy metal, which is the hazardous uh, material in the waste, is being released from wood material into the liquid. The recovered CCA can be reused to treat new wood products, and the liquefied wood can be turned into biodegradable polyurethane foam and can be used in a variety of ways, such as spray foam insulation. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.